Good day, viewers. My name is Michael Shodete. I'm a player agent. I register with Nigeria Football Federation. On today's episode, I'm talk about football. We are going to discuss a topic which I call out to become a professional player. As a young player, you need to go through some potentials that will make you a professional player. Footballers. As an amateur player, there are certain stages that will make you qualify to play pro football. There are eight potentials that you can make you no pro, which I listed below. Number one, you start early. As a young player, starting your football career early will help you. Let's say you are nine years old and you have eight years of preparation. Nine plus eight, by the time you clock 17, then you will have go through so many training that can help you in getting to a professional level. Number two is you join a team. Look for a team. In your community if the team you that is in your community cannot satisfy you then you go further just make sure you join a team training with a team will help you joining a team will help will help you in developing your skills number three is hard work you need to work hard and be willing to make sacrifice on getting to a professional football, there are some certain sacrifices that you must make in your progress. You sacrifice your time, you sacrifice your head, you sacrifice your energy, and so many more. Sacrificing your time and energy will make you get to a professional level. Number four is about the food you eat. You should be eating a healthy diet. Good food will help your body. Eating a good food will help your body posture. Eating a good food, a good diet will help you in training. Number five, as you are going to be a professional footballer, you should create your CV. You should be getting your CV from a certain age. A detailed CV will help you. Let's say a football agent comes to your community and they requested for your CV and you don't have it at, at on, on ground. That will not help you. But preparing your CV at any stage of your, of your career will help you. Number six, you should find a football agent. Even though you are 11 year old, Look for a football agent. He can't make a transfer at that moment, but he can help you with a little support, advice, where word of wisdom, and what you should do, what you shouldn't do. That's the work of agent. Number seven, you should look for a football trial. There are football trials around you, in the next community, in the next state, the next city, there are football trials. Attend football trials. It, it, don't, it didn't matter that you didn't pass it. You are not a, a good player at that time. If you fail the trial, that doesn't doesn't stop you from playing. But just make sure you attend trials. That will give you edge. That will give you more uh, more power, more skills. You will learn a lot from attending trials. Number eight. If you are a, somebody that like education. You can join education with playing football. There are study and play initiative around. Even in, in Africa or in Europe, there are some schools that will give you admission, basically on the uh, on your football skills. So you should also look for that. And number nine, which is the last one, is keep working hard. You will understand that our number three is hard work. And number nine is also keep working that. 
why do you need to keep working hard is for you to get a pro at a professional level there is nothing like child play at a professional level there is nothing like mere play it's a total pro you play football you play football in the morning you play in the afternoon you play in the evening you play at night look at the UEFA Champions League in some country they play at 8 p.m. in Africa. In some country, it's 9 p.m. In some in some nation like the Middle Belt, I mean Middle East, the Asia, it's around 3 a.m. 1 a.m. You play football at any time when you're a professional footballer. So that's why you need to keep working hard. Thank you. And our question for today, number one. What are the main things that separate professional players from amateur? I think you should be able to answer that. And number two, what are the best ways to learn a new position? You can answer this through the comment boxes. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. See, I see you next time. Thank you and good day. Have a nice day.